There are thousands of dogs being diagnosed with autoimmune diseases every day, and that number is unfortunately on the rise. Now, for most dog owners, this means turning to drugs to help these patterns. And while, of course, this may be necessarily necessary, especially in the initial diagnosis, what about the role of foods? Now, in today's short video, let's look at three foods to add into the diet and three to avoid when your dog has been diagnosed with some type of autoimmune disease. So stay tuned to learn more. Hi there, it's Lyndall Pynchon, canine naturopath from Canine Vitality, and welcome back to the channel, Happy Healthy Dogs. Guys, if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe, and also don't forget to click on the bell to be notified of any up, um, of all my upcoming content. And if you're a work regular, welcome back. I do hope you find today's video helpful in some way. Now, I think many of us forget the role that foods and nutrition play when it comes to any disease pattern, and this, of course, includes autoimmune disease. But foods should never be underestimated in their ability to help heal, especially when given consistently over time. So let's take a look at some foods to include and some to avoid when it comes to your dog being diagnosed with autoimmunity. Now, firstly, we wanna add in foods like kale and other leafy greens. Why? Because these contain a lot of alkalizing chlorophyll. And remember, when your dog's body is in a slightly more alkaline state, it's gonna be much harder for a disease of any kind to take hold. Now, given that autoimmune diseases are also based around inflammation, alkalizing is really important here because this will naturally reduce the inflammatory pattern as well as also strengthening and balancing the immune system. Now, of course, these veggies are also high in antioxidants. And once again, this is going to further help target and reduce inflammation. That is the hallmark of autoimmunity. Now, it's best added into your dog's diet in the raw state. But if you're feeding raw, make sure that you blend or blitz the veggies down to a pulp so that your dog can digest them better. Now they can also be lightly cooked for those dogs that are not strong or well enough to start off on a raw food diet. Secondly, we wanna make sure to get some pumpkin seeds into the diet. Now these are best given raw and crushed down to a meal. So once again, your dog will be able to digest them more readily. Why pumpkin seeds? Now rich in zinc and other nutrients, including omega fats, magnesium and iron, pumpkin seeds can help by way of once again helping alkalize the body, which will bring down that inflammation and also balance the immune system. And being more alkaline, as I said, this will help fight infection too. Now they're excellent in the way of helping the gut rid the intestinal um, tract of parasites, which can also contribute to autoimmune disease through that poor gut health. Now, adding pumpkin seed meal to your dog's diet, maybe three to even seven times a week, depending on their condition, would be a great way to go. Now, thirdly, starting in adding in small amounts of fermented foods, such as kefir and fermented veggies to your dog's diet. Now, these supply a good variety of probiotics, of course, and pro really provide a more varied profile of good bacteria than many probiotics. This is because they are eaten as a food and the body will assimilate them more easily and can help use them to build up the gut microbiome and heal leaky gut, which is also strongly linked with autoimmune disease patterns. Now, always start with a really small amount here when using any type of fermented foods, um, as initially they may make your dog feel a little bit more bloated and gassy, and we really don't need a gassy dog in the house. So these are the three great food choices that over time can really significantly bring down autoimmune disease patterns. But what about foods to avoid? Well, there are really no surprises here with these, but firstly, we want to avoid sugar in the forms found in processed foods treats, as well as simple carbohydrates like pasta or any human sweet foods we might occasionally feed our dogs as these also break down to form glucose in the gut. Now, sugar in these hot forms is highly inflammatory and it's gonna feed that autoimmune disease pattern as well as other degenerative diseases, including cancer. So we wanna avoid feeding sugar in this form. Now, remember that the natural sugars present in fruits like berries are a great option for dogs for a little bit of sweetness and these don't have that negative impact and they're also naturally anti-inflammatory, so they're quite okay to feed. 
Secondly, please avoid dairy in any form, including yogurt. Well, uh, well known to increase mucus in the body. Dairy is um, going to, you really need to avoid that. It's particularly going to increase uh, the mucus in the gut, which will make leaky gut problems worse. Any additional uh, mucus in the body congests tissues. Now we talked, talked earlier about fermented foods like kefir, which can be either dairy or non-dairy based. And in this fermented state, it doesn't cause inflammation, nor does it increase mucus in the gut like dairy does. Now, in fact, kefir is known to reduce the mucus in the body, so it's a great choice. And the third food to avoid is anything processed. Yes, look, I know I always talk about this. It seems really obvious, but still many, many people are feeding processed foods to their dogs, even when they have an autoimmune disease. Processed foods cause your dog's immune system to be on high alert and overactive as it's trying to fight against these very unnatural ingredients found in the processed food. And of course, processed foods are very pro-inflammatory and increase inflammation everywhere in the body. Well, guys, there you have some foods, some quick advice on three foods to feed and three to avoid. And of course, there are others to consider too. But when it comes to autoimmunity, there's some staples if your dog has been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And if this is your dog and you're not sure about diet, feel free to reach out to me. All my details are below and I'm also open for bookings for consultations. And you'll also find more videos on my channel around autoimmunity as well as on my website. I've got a little e, um, autoimmune ebook you can purchase, which is inexpensive. Guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it, share it. It helps to get more content out there. And wherever you are today, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I'll catch up with you in another video very soon. Talk to you then. Bye for now.